I didn't see you there. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Ow, I pulled my oh hair away. Oh my god, <laughs> that scared me. Today, we're gonna be cooking you a nice, wholesome, healthy meal. We're making some chicken pot pie with what I have in the fridge. So, first thing you're gonna need is a pie crust. I bought mine from Sprouts. It's gluten-free and it's defrosted, so it's nice and doughy and mushy. First thing we're gonna do is chop up a shallot, which is like a baby onion. I've never made chicken pot pie with a shallot, but I had one and we're going to include it. I like this because it doesn't make you cry. So we're going to take my shallot, turn on the stove. Gas top, by the way. God, I've suffered way too long with an electric top. Spray that bad boy with some coconut oil. That is not very much at all. This is the remains of the rotisserie that I hand shredded the other day. I've been waiting for this moment. I'm gonna put the chicken in with it. We're gonna be using this. This is my favorite kitchen tool that I cannot find anywhere. You see how messed up it is? It's all burnt and crispy and suffered from third degree burns. And here we are today. This is my favorite. You can only get it at Ikea and then they discontinued it. But I feel like this is the best one. This is peak kitchen tool. All right, so we're gonna let that, let it sizzle. You know, I could do it this way. That's not fun. Pour one for the boys, and then... It's all falling everywhere. It's not a very efficient way to salt your food. Uh, I can never get enough salt. Oh my god, I wasn't supposed to do this first. What were you supposed to do? I was supposed to make the sauce, but I'm a one pan kind of girl. When I cook, I only like to use one pan. I can only afford to get one thing dirty. They ain't nobody do dishes in this house. <laughs> now I did dishes the other day. We have butter. Look how disgusting <laughs> my butter is, by the way. Just like I said, I'm a one pan kind of girl. I'm a one utensil kind of girl. So I'll literally like use everything and just like Stick it in the butter after, so. <laughs> so gross. That's how we do it in this household. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So my pot is currently dirty, so I can't really make the sauce until this is done. Usually I make the sauce first, but where is my mind? I will swim in the Caribbean. You smell that? That smell good? Can I say that's probably like the coolest thing about the stove is that it lights up? Not how powerful it is. Just I'm impressed by the little thing. Yeah, I like lights. Me too. Okay, we're gonna saute that chicken until it's a nice brown. Can you talk like the lady who has the big mouth on the cooking channel? Oh. Or shut that or? Oh, hold on. Oh no, it seems we have ran out of ricotta. <laughs> We need some ricotta. Parmigiano Reciano. Do you smell that ricotta? I like my chicken cooked good, okay? I like it cooked. I don't like none of that juicy. You can cook it as much as you like, but I'ma cook it how I like it. Dry? Yeah. <laughs> Step away, I'm gonna mosey on down to my spice rack. I don't know why the stain or oh, that's a, that's a... What is that doing there? Definitely doesn't go in the food. Okay, so we're gonna put, what, what kind of spices do I wanna add to this today? I'll put some onion salt. Ooh, you know what I need? I need sage. Do I have sage? I'm gonna be very upset if I don't have sage. Please have sage. <laughs> I would have been very upset because usually I make this with fresh sage and thyme But I'm making it with what I have in the fridge and we don't have sage and thyme And all my herb plants that were in my bar are currently deceased. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, mix that bad boy up Oh, you know what? I do have thyme. Follow me. Don't actually follow me. This is top secret No, I can't see Not really. There's no way to get out of here <laughs> Is it really not? So if I came in here and I shut the behind us, we'd both be stuck? You would have to break the doors. Just lead your worst enemy in here. Trap him in with all the snacks. Yeah. Healthy snacks. What mm. is that? You smell that? It's time that you're wasting. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay, now that our chicken is nice and crispy, we're going to remove it. I gotta save this for the house tour, man. I know you, you the you're giving all now. these transformer secrets out and stuff. This pan is very heavy. Hold the chicken hostage in here. Now we gonna melt some butter. You can never have enough butter. Actually, you can because this is a healthy household. I don't like to cook with that much butter. I mean, Evan loves butter, but I feel like you can still make things taste good without all the Where is Oh, I forgot my flour. <laughs> my flour. Good thing I got that at Costco chicken stock. I completely forgot you needed chicken stock. Where's my flour? Do I have flour here? 
Oh, I do. We got some all-purpose baking flour. Where'd you go? Put a little bit of that flour in. Maybe melt a little more butter. She's been working all day. I have. I wasn't gonna cook, and then I was like really craving some chicken pot pie. Okay, you know what? It's not professional, but I don't care. It comes out good. I'm not a professional cook, okay? We're gonna put chicken stock. I'm just gonna keep pouring in chicken stock. Stock of the chickens. I don't wanna put on high heat, because we don't hurry this up. I'm gonna keep mixing this, because I messed up too much flour, and I didn't time it correctly, and now this, this lumpy. That's lumpy. That is lumpy. <laughs> is this your way of showing us that you're secretly coming out with the kitchen line? Oh, wolf. Lol. That was strictly coincidence. We got this mush. So what is this mush supposed to be? I'm making the sauce. We're gonna put milk with the chicken stock. What's that supposed to do? Makes it creamy and it's very lumpy. However, I don't mind. I like it lumpy. I don't cook with like recipes, instructions. I just throw things in that thing. All right, sage, my favorite. It's also good for bad spirits. The more sage, the better. Some thyme. Ooh, that was a lot. We put a lot of thyme in this. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see why that thing's all milk. burnt. Just slowly add milk. I don't do measurements. Salt, because I love salt and I'm very salty. You know what? In a perfect world, I would have put the shallots in this. Again, why I messed up. I didn't plan this. Just last minute, I was like, hey, I'm cooking. Let's do a cooking video. Improv to cooking. Yes, indeed. Late night cooking, it is currently 3 a.m. We about to do this, pop it in the oven, and watch Black Mirror. Gotta do the pepper, lots of pepper. We love pepper in this household. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Finally, some good hecking food. I'm just gonna bring that to a boil. It's good. My food is always good. Oh, excuse me. So if you like eat something you like, do you like practice making it? No, there's no practice with me. I get it on the first try. Well, I mean, you obviously gotta look up like a dive, right? No. You just go for it, you like, your taste is so like perfect that you just know all the ingredients. Yeah. So you have a god tongue? I've been gluten free for like 15 years. That was like several of those years. I had to read ingredients and labels okay. for every single thing I would eat. When I eat something, I, I know what's in it. Okay, we're gonna add the veggies. I'm gonna put in all the veggies because I love veggies. Ooh, you eating healthy? I always eat healthy. I just like pastries, but like most of the food I eat is pretty healthy. Pastries and ice cream. And now we're gonna put the chicken. Dump that bad boy in. Mmm, look at that. Come check this out. You see this? That's the good stuff. Mmm, delicious. Do you want to try it? Sure. Can you handle spices? Sure. It's dripping. Hurry and eat it. That's good. I'm gonna turn this off. Had enough of this. I want my pie already. Big oopsie if I just pour in the stuff with <laughs> the, the plastic that over it. Sucks. Okay, take off the plastic, pour this bad boy in. Oof, this is really heavy and I put don't it, have put a it, firm it grasp on it. Mmm. Ooh. Sometimes I put on a top, sometimes I don't, just because it's a lot of carbs. We're making healthy chicken pot pie, so this is gonna have to do. Okay, we're gonna put this bad boy in. 400 degrees until it's done. How long? I don't know. It's done when it wants to be done. It's 2019. Food can be done when it wants to be done. And there you have it, the finished product. Yum, yum, yum. Oof. Try it. This is the first time he had anything I ever cooked. Good. Actually, it is really good. That's good. You don't get any. You get oh, none. Man. You get absolutely zero. None. None of it. All of it or none of it. Oh, look at her. She's really good at walking on her legs. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more cooking videos, make sure you comment below and let me know what I should cook next. And make sure you hit that like button in the and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. So I got all cute for you guys. I'm gonna be making dinner. This is my absolute favorite dinner that I've been making lately. It's super easy. I know when people say super easy, it really is super easy. I'm gonna be making my absolute favorite rosemary thyme lamb chops. And if you know me, I freaking love lamb chops. My absolute favorite. And we're gonna be doing roasted Brussels sprouts and a baked sweet potato with it. So here we go. I'm gonna rip this up. Oh, we gotta get a close up of this. Look at these, oh my God, beautiful. They just cut these from 
me at Whole Foods. And these are so cheap too. Usually I get like four mini ones for like $9 from Sprouts. I don't know why I'm showing you guys like each one individually. Like, mm, look at that. Yes, quality, just grand. I'm gonna lay all my boys out here. So I only touch the meat with my gloved hand. I don't like like meat juice and smell going up my nails, okay? So I wish I didn't touch it because I kind of need two hands to scoop out stuff. So we're just gonna scoop out some garlic. I get like the pre-cut kind. Do a couple lumps. You can't really go wrong with garlic, so you can add as much as you want, add as little as you want. 